Hey planner friends, it's Ashley. Today we are creating some YouTube planning sheets for my planner for January, February, and for March. So the products I'm gonna be using are from the Happy Planner. The sticker books that I'm using are going to be the Winter Sticker Book, the All in a Season Seasonal Sticker Book from the Happy Planner. This is one of their mega sticker books. And then I will pull out a few other sticker books later on. Creating these pages so I have a way to keep track of all of the YouTube videos that I want to film for the month. And then also which ones I don't film and that can be used maybe for the next month or even the month after that. And what I was doing before was I was using an app called Notion. I love Notion and I may end up using it a little bit more in 2021. But towards the end of 2020, I was falling off track with using it. But Notion is a note-taking app and I was using it to plan out my YouTube videos from everything from like the title, keywords, the description, B-roll footage, um, notes. If there was links that I needed to link to, I would use it all in Notion and it worked out really well. But I really want to start planning my videos on paper because I feel like I sat at my computer so much between helping my son with virtual learning, filming, editing, like all the things, right? So I, I want to kind of step away from my computer as much as possible. So I'm going to start planning out my videos on paper inside of my planner. And I've been brainstorming how I'm going to do this and be able to keep track of the entire process because making YouTube videos, there's a lot of steps that go along with it. From filming it, editing it, you have to make your cover photo, if you have to do voiceovers like I'm doing right now, um, there's uh, the title, keywords, hashtags, um, description, links, like so many different things going on. And I just needed a way to keep track of all of that. Well, then I was watching Elena over on the Organized Money, and I will definitely link her channel down below because she is awesome. But I was watching one of her videos and she was showing her process for keeping track of her YouTube videos. And I was like, that's it. That's my solution right there. So Elena, if you ever by chance watch this video, which I doubt you will, but if you ever do, thanks girl, because that was really, really helpful. She has this key that she uses to know where she's at in her video making process. And you'll see me write the key out on each one of the pages, but the key is this. N equals next month. S equals scripting, F is for filmed, E is for edited, and P is for posted. And that's what I'm getting ready to write right now in the blue teal color pen that I have. But out beside each video idea, I can use this key to know where I'm at in that entire process. So this is going to help clear up a lot of like overwhelm in my brain of not keeping track of this in my planner where I can see it more often versus having to get my phone out and look at the Notion app or pull up my MacBook and uh, get the Notion app pulled up there and try to figure out, I mean, that's just a whole process in of itself. And I also don't wanna be on my phone as much. So this will get me back into my planner more often whenever I am planning out YouTube videos, which makes me excited. All right, now that January's is done, it is time to move on and make one for February. And if you didn't notice, I'm kind of going with the major holidays of the month. For January, it's more like winter. So I went with a winter theme with the snowflakes. And then for February, we are going for Valentine's Day. I know you guys love it when I sing to you, right? <laughs> I'm kidding, some of you guys are probably like, please stop. Um, for February, we are going for the Valentine's theme, and then for March, I will be doing St. Patrick's Day. And here, I pulled out the fun alphabet sticker book. This is also from the Happy Planner, and I'm going to use it to help finish titling this page.
after I finished these sheets and I started looking at them and I seen that it says like January YouTube and February YouTube, March YouTube, I realized I should have added like ideas to that. This is just like February YouTube instead of like February YouTube ideas. Now in each one of those boxes that I added at the top, those say ideas, but I don't know, maybe it should have went to the top. Either way, it doesn't matter at this point because I'm leaving it and we're just gonna use it. But here, I'm writing the key down again for February so I can keep track of it and then, yeah, just gonna finish decorating it and then we'll get into marches. To create the sheet for March, I pulled out this memory keeping sticker book and then I also pulled out the colorful boxes. And like I said, I went with the major holidays, so March we are decorating it for St. Patrick's Day. Here is where I started to show you all three of the pages that I made. And then as I showed them, I realized I wanted to add lines to each one of them. That way I could write straight because y'all, I don't write straight without lines. Like I just, I usually go, do I go uphill or downhill? I'm trying to remember now. Doesn't matter. I write crooked. 
can't write straight. So I wanted to add lines to these and that's where I decided to do this. So I pulled out my ruler. I ended up making the two columns of lines for January and then after I finished that page I realized I didn't really like the two columns like I, I'd rather have one column so whenever I created February and March's lines I just made one column and if I need more lines maybe I have way more ideas than this which is probably unlikely but if I do I can always add more lines or there's the back of the sheet where I can write all you know lopsided and crooked. Now if you're watching this and you're like, I don't need one of these sheets, I don't, I don't make YouTube videos so I don't need a YouTube video idea sheet, listen you can totally take this sheet and make it into something that you would use it for. So I was thinking it would be really cool to do like, um, you can make a sheet for each month and do like your monthly goals on there. So setting your top goals for the month. Um, you could use these for like a bucket list, like a mini bucket list, so nothing major like I don't know, jumping out of a plane, which by the way, I will never jump out of a plane. If you see me coming out of a plane, it's because I was put there unwillingly <laughs> and somebody shoved me because I'm not jumping out of one. Uh, but anyways, like many your bucket list ideas, so little things that you want to do. You always want to do. You always want to try them. Like maybe you want to go horseback riding or learn to kayak. Don't kayak in January. That might not be good. But little things like that that you want to give a try. These would be cool little bucket sheet list or I mean, you can even make these into like general to-do lists for the month. So all the things that you want to get done that month, you can just list them all out here and then maybe even set dates by which you want to accomplish those things. So, so many different ideas. You don't have to use these just for YouTube planning. Get creative here and make them work for you. So that is going to be my first quarter of the year YouTube planning sheets that I have ready to go. I'm excited to use these. I hope that they will help me stay on track with my YouTube planning process so it's not so overwhelming. I'm excited for these things. Listen, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button and have an incredible day, my friend. I will see you in the next video.